Now what we got to do is we need to put doors in. I'm just going to go over to this uh, bay of windows that's on the right hand side. Uh, actually, you know what I can do is, is I can just go to 3D view. Yes, yeah, so I'll save my project. Here we go. No, that's not working. So we'll just use the home button. Go like this. Now I'm going to zoom in on this so we can see it. Okay, so I got to put in doors. Now. Uh, here's what your first thing have you have to do. You have to go to door. You're gonna hit load family, and uh, what you should do is come up in the U.S. Imperial uh, area of the software. If you didn't, you just do what I just did. I, I came up in generic, so I just went up one level, and then I clicked on U.S. Imperial. And here is doors, and then there are doors uh, for the curtain wall. Right here, there's three different ones, and we want the double storefront. So you would click on that and say open. And I'm going to get an error message here because I've already put the doors in. So because you don't have the doors in yet, you won't get this error message. I'm just going to hit cancel. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to put the door into uh, either this panel or this panel on this side of the uh, building. As a matter of fact, you know what I can do is I can probably take and uh, reset my view and get out of that hidden view so the end wall will be visible now. So what we're going to do, I'm going to escape a couple times, is I'm going to put my cursor right on the panel. I'm going to put the door in this block of glass right here. And as long as I do is I'm going to hit tab until the whole thing uh, highlights in blue. And maybe you can't see it. So I'll just do this to it. So again, I put my cursor on that area and I just hit tab until the whole thing lights up. And whoops. Come on. There we go. And I click. Now, up here, uh, I should be able to select my door, but I can't. So I got to double click on it down here. So I got a little bit of a problem. Hold on. This is something I forget with this uh, particular thing. So I'm going to do what I showed you before. I'm going to click and tab until I get the whole door to light. And then I'm going to click on it. And the problem here is this is pinned. In other words, it's locked. So I'm just going to unpin it. Now, this is not grayed out any longer, and this is going to be where I can find my doors. So I'm going to uh, scroll down here, and uh, I've used this recently. I suppose you can find yours up in the uh, browser someplace here. But I'm going to just click on that, and you can see that it automatically put in the door, and the two double doors for me. Okay. And then I'm going to go down to the other end and be hopefully a little more efficient with doing this. So I'll put my cursor on the window again, push tab until the whole thing lights up, click, unpin it. And I'm going to go up and I'll find my door, click, and there it is. I've got the whole thing uh, set up with two double doors. Now, I should go, by the way, to my second floor. And what I can do is I can see the way that these doors are swinging. They're coming into the building, and they're not supposed to do that. So I'm going to just click on the door and hit the double arrows to move it to the outside. Do the same thing down at the bottom. And there we are. Our doors are in. And I'll go to my 3D view.